Like literally you would know that I am a professional YouTuber because like camera issues. <laughs> You're literally per perched on a jar right now. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to a new video. <laughs> Okay, for either of these techniques, you're not going to need expensive materials. I use just your regular inexpensive ballpoint pen. This happens to be a Bic Crystal, which is my, actually, fun fact, my favorite drawing pen. Um, I do also use colored highlighter pens. Because they're transparent, because there's a couple brands that come in uh, really great colors, uh, these are some that I have. Here, I have two brands that I like. So I have the Java Powerline 2500. You can get a set of 20 different colors of these for very inexpensively. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, also, um, the um, Zebra Mild Liner. They, they also aren't super expensive and come up in a lot of great colors. These are double-ended, so if you prefer um, having a chisel tip sometimes, but then other times having a fine point, the Zebras are double-ended. The Java uh, pens are not. So anyway, I'm gonna get some pens together and I'm gonna use this journal today and we are gonna do a sort of Rorschach style ink blob um, drawing, therapy drawing in this journal on this page. Uh, I can only, already kind of tell you what I see, but let me gra gather some pens first and I'll be right back. Okay, and before anybody asks or says anything, um, the reason you're at the angle you are at is one, that was the best use of my space on my desk at the moment, but two, I understand that it may make it difficult for you to see some of what I'm writing if I do any writing on the page. Um, I'm going to be very cautious about what I do write to try to keep some things private. I don't have a problem necessarily with sharing any anything with you all, um, but there are some things that for right now I just need to keep private. And um, I want to give you an idea of what I'm doing and help you do something similar if you're feeling so inspired. Um, but at the moment, um, I, again, just need to keep some things to myself. So um, the viewpoint's kind of semi-intentional. Anyway, all right. So I want you to take your journal. Once it's dry and everything's set, you've gathered like a couple of pens um, and um, you're gonna just open it. We're gonna just look at the first page. Now, you can, of course, not start at the beginning. You can just look, sort of open the book see what inspires you and work on that page. I tend to be a front to back kind of person, so that's what we're gonna go with. Plus I looked at this shape right here, and for whatever reason, I see a bird head, at least the head of the bird. So I don't know why, I don't know what that means, but we're gonna just go with it. Um, you can sit in silence and do this. You can turn on some music and do this. If you have a podcast that you listen to to help you um, with things um, or that you enjoy, maybe put that on. Um, I tend to normally either have nothing on or sort of a podcast type thing. Um, nothing works. So I can just blank my mind and really focus on what I'm feeling and what I see. And so we're going to do that. And I'm...
going to speed forward through that. What you saw, it was in real time. Um, it doesn't necessarily take a long time. And I just drew what I saw. And I was always drawing it. I was inspired to write those words down for whatever reason. I, I mean, I kind of know the reason, but I won't get into it. Anyway, for me, it's very therapeutic. I did forget that you probably want to have something hard. This is a piece of a dollar store cutting mat to stick between the pages. Anytime I'm drawing in any of my journals, um, whether it's thicker paper or not, I always have something hard um, underneath the page I'm working on. Um, that helps uh, prevent any possible bleed through from bleeding through to the journal, but also if I'm pushing hard with the pen, I don't make any dents or marks on the other page. Um, gives me a little bit of control. I, anyway, so try this in your journal and see what you think. Um, see if the process works for you. You can do variations on a theme with this, and I would love to see what you all come up with. Um, do share. Um, if you do videos, that would be great. Please let me know. Tag me or something or send me the link or something if you're on social media and or in my Facebook group. Um, definitely tag me in your post and share the video links in my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, because I'd love to see what you're doing. And uh, yeah, this is what I did. I love it. Um, and it was, I feel really good about it. So, which is the whole point. All right, that's it for the minute. I will um, get on with it because I've got some other stuff I'm inspired to do now. All right, that's it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.